I am Anil Kumar and here is a challenge question for my subscribers and students. The question here is solve tan 2x equals to 8 cos square x minus cot x where x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to pi by 2. So you can pause the video, copy the question, answer, right? And then look into my suggestion. It will be a great learning experience while sharing the solution of this question with you. Now, tan 2x, we'll start from the left side, is actually equals to 2 tan x. Let me write tan 2x as 2 tan x over 1 minus tan square x, right? Now, on the right side, I'll just copy as such now. We have 8 cos square x minus cot x. Now, we'll cross multiply, so we'll get 2 tan x equals to 1 minus tan square x times 8 cos square x minus cot x. So let's open this bracket. So I'm shifting this a bit more on the left side. 2 tan x equals 2. When I multiply by 1, I get both the terms as such, which is 8 cos square x minus cot x. Multiplying by minus tan square x. Now, tan is, let me show you here, tan is sine square x over cos square x. When you multiply by cos square x, they get cancelled, right? So you get sine square x. So when you multiply with this, you get minus 8 sine square x. The next term is multiplying tan square x with cot x, correct? So let me show you that also. Tan square x can be written as tan x, okay, times tan x, right? That is tan square x. Cot x is 1 over tan x. So they get cancelled. You are left with tan x, correct? So when I multiply these two, I get plus tan x. Perfect. Now we can bring tan cot terms to the left side. So we get 2 tan x minus tan x plus cot x equals to 8 cos square x minus 8 sine square x, correct? Now here 2 tan x minus tan x is tan x, so we get tan x plus cot x equals to, we can take 8 common, we are left with cos square x minus sine square x. Correct? Now cos square x minus sine square x is cos 2x. We can write this as 8 times cos 2x. Here tan x plus cot x could be written as, let's write them in sine and cosine first. Then I'll do it in the next step. Sine x over cos x plus cos x over sine x. Taking a common denominator of sin x cos x, cross multiplying, we get sin square x plus cos square x equals to 8 times cos 2x. Now sin square x plus cos square x 1, so we get 1 over sin x cos x, is that okay? Equals to 8 times cos 2x. Now let me bring all these terms to the right side and solve further, okay? Uh, right. Let me use a different ink also so that it doesn't mess it up. So 1 over sine x cos x is 8 cos 2x. So let me write this as 1 equals 2. Multiplying here, 8 times cos 2x times sin x cos x. This is what we get, correct? Now, I can write this 8 as 4 times 2. Then we know 2 sin x cos x is sin 2x. So we can write this as, I'm writing this 8 as, uh, let me write this as 4, right? So we have 8 times 2 is 4 times 2, right? So let me write this as, rearrange it. Let me do it in two steps. 2 sin x cos x, right? Now we can, 2 sin x cos x is sin 
2x. So we get 4 times cos 2x times sin 2x. Now again cos 2x sin 2x times 2 could be written as, so we can write this as 2 times 2 sin 2x cos x correct which is sin 4x. Is that okay? So I just club two terms right. I hope that should be fine. So sin 4x can be written as equals to, this is all 1 right, so it is equals to 1 over 2. So finally we got such a simple expression sin 4x equals to half. And now we need to find solution where x is less than or equal to 0 and greater than, I mean greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equals to pi by 2. So how about sin of 4x? Let's do the solution different thing. 4 multiplied by 4, right? So, this is sorry, pi by 2. So, when you multiply by 4, you get 2 pi here, correct? So, within that period, we are looking for the value, I mean, 4x, right? So, the domain for 4x is between 0 to 2 pi. Now, when is sine half, right? So, what we will do is, we know sine is half in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2, right? These two values, right? So what are these angles? So you can use your calculator or you can use special triangles. Let me draw the special triangle just to remind you. So it is, this side is 1, this is 2, this is square root of 3 when the angle is pi by 6, right? So for pi by 6, we have signed theta or alpha as half, right? So this will be, this is pi by 6, so this is 5 pi by 6. So we get 4x is equal to pi by 6 or 5 pi by 6 and then x is equals to pi by 24 or 5 pi by dividing by 4 24 right so that is the solution so the answer is pi by 24 or 5 pi by 24 now these are the steps which you should follow to solve this question. I hope the steps are clear. Go through them once again, try to understand the strategy. And I'm sure this kind of question is going to help you a lot in understanding what all we learned about trigonometric functions till now. Thank you and all the best.